When it comes to high performance SUVs, most automotive enthusiasts will make fun of them and will fight you and will give you logical explanations on why you should buy a performance coupe or a performance sedan instead. The logic goes something like, hey, if I wanted a performance car, I wouldn't buy a giant SUV that's super heavy and defies aerodynamics. Now, if you're not an automotive enthusiast that's complaining all the time, then you get it. High performance SUVs are for those that still want a lot of power, but don't have a lifestyle that can fit into a sedan or a coupe. That being said, today I will be giving you a tour of the 2020 BMW X5 M competition, and then I will be giving you my thoughts on what I think about this giant powerful beast. Let's do this. Now usually I like to start off things by pointing out some of the cool and interesting things about the car that I'm testing, but a lot of the cool things in the X5 M competition are the same things that I recently gave you a tour of in my M8 competition review. So if you wanna learn more about things like carrying car, experience modes, or the driver recorder camera, along with automatic parking and backup assistant, make sure you check out my M8 competition review. Link is popping up in the right hand corner right now, or you can access it in the description below. That being said, let's check out a quick launch control because this thing is absolutely insane. And then we'll listen to the exhaust sounds. Whoa! Oh my God. Jeez. As with most BMW M models, you can have the exhaust on or you could turn it off. I like to keep it on. Let's go hear the revs. The first three revs will be with the exhaust off and the next three revs will be with the exhaust on. Next up, let's talk about power and performance because this thing is pretty impressive. Power for the 2020 BMW X5 M competition comes from a 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 making 617 horsepower and 533 pound-feet of torque. And that's made it to an eight-speed M Sport automatic transmission. So just how quick is it? Zero to 60 comes in at 3.7 seconds with a top speed of 177 miles an hour. And that's pretty impressive seeing as this thing weighs over 5,300 pounds. To get a better understanding of all the M modes and the drive modes that you have in the X5 M competition, just check out my M8 competition review. It's very similar. So if you want a deeper dive, you can check out my M8 competition review. Link is popping up in the top right hand corner, or you can access it in the description below. But to give you a quick overview, when you hit the M mode button, it's more of just picking the themes around the car. You have road, sport, and track. And then if you want to set up each and individual attributes of the car, you can customize it by clicking the setup button. And that will take you to a page where you can customize the engine, chassis, steering, and the brake, along with the X-Drive system. But if you want a deeper dive of how everything works, just check out my M8 competition review. Of course, all that power means more trips to the gas station. So when it comes to fuel economy, the X5M competition averages 13 city, 18 highway. You have a 22 gallon tank capacity. I'm averaging after four days of driving a total of 14.9 miles a gallon. Oh my damn. Next up, let's talk about how much it costs. The 2020 BMW X5 M, the regular one, starts right over $105,000. The X5 M competition here starts right over $114,000, but you're somebody that likes their cars to be fully loaded. A fully loaded X5 M competition can run you north of $131,000, and let me tell you why. The color that you see here is called Tanzanite Blue 2 Metallic, and it's one of my favorite colors in the M lineup, and it costs an additional $1,950 extra. Hop in the inside and you have carbon fiber trim as standard. I don't know why anybody would want anything else, but if you're somebody that likes piano black trim for some reason and likes to put fingerprints everywhere, you will have to pay an extra $1,080. I just hope that nobody does. Now, while a lot of the things that you're gonna see here are standard, you have two packages to pick from, including the driver assistance professional package for $1,700 and the executive package for $3,600. The executive package will add things like heated front seats and heated rear seats, cooled front seats, front massaging seats so you can relax a little, rear manual shade, pretty crazy that at this price tag, you have to pull your own shades up, soft closed doors, which always come in handy if you're a little weak at closing doors, iconic adaptive LED headlights with laser lights that look super sharp. I love these headlamps a lot, but my favorite part of the executive package has to be the heated and cooled cup holders, and they really work. They really keep your cool drink if you have them turned on and cooling. 
Now, outside of those two packages, you have a few other options you can add, including the $3,400 Bowers & Wilkins sound system, which is a must-have if you enjoy a good sound system. It is one of the best sound systems in the industry. It has a concert mode, which is my favorite mode. So if you're going to test drive an X5M competition, make sure you drive one with the Bowers & Wilkins sound system and really listen to the good quality sound that this system offers. Now, if you want to be like Ethan Hunt from Mission Impossible, you can add on the night vision camera for $2,300. My test model doesn't have that option. You can also add a rear entertainment package for $2,200, which my test model also doesn't have. Finally, add on $2,500 for the M driver's package, and you're looking at a 2020 BMW X5 M competition that will run you north of $131,000. Let's take a look at the exterior design of the 2020 BMW X5 M competition because it looks really, really tough. It actually looks like a real SUV and not one of those slopey roofline coupe SUVs. So yes, the X5 M competition looks like a real SUV and it looks really tough. I already love the looks of the regular X5 and the BMW M team did a great job of making this as aggressive as possible. It looks amazing. And in my opinion, if you're going to go for a performance SUV over a performance coupe or a performance sedan, at least get an SUV that you can use like a real SUV. Otherwise, what's the point? To me, those sloping roofline SUVs cut your rear headroom, cut your cargo capacity. And while they look beautiful, they just aren't real SUVs. But hey, who am I to tell you what to do if you want to go for an SUV that looks like the BMW X6 or the Mercedes-Benz GLE Coupe or the Porsche Cayenne Coupe? Be my guest because I think you just want to look cool and you just want to have some bragging rights. But back to the X5M competition here, to make it more competition looking, BMW added a dark extended shadow line trim that gives you a darker grill, darker intakes, and darker trims all around. You have the really cool M mirrors which look really big on the X5M here. And then you have the choice of two wheel options and surprisingly they don't cost extra at all. The ones you see here are the M Star spoke bicolor wheels. The X5M competition gets 22 inch wheels in the back and 21 inch wheels in the front. The rear of the X5M competition is definitely my favorite angle of this car. I already love the looks of the regular X5 with the new taillights. This one has quad exhaust, which look really, really cool. And then it has a roof spoiler, which gives it a lot of character. Overall, if I had to pick between the X5M competition or the X6M competition, I would definitely go for the X5M competition because it looks really, really beefy. Let me know in the comments below what you would get, an X5M competition or an X6M competition or something else in this segment. Let me know in the comments. Let's talk about cargo capacity. To access the trunk, you just hit the button right here under the BMW logo. And just like the regular X5, this has a split gate. And to lower that, you just hit that button there. Then you have 23 cubic feet behind the second row. And to fold the second row, you can just pull these latches here and then you can access 66 cubic feet. And then when you're done with everything, you just hit one button right there and both the bottom and the top will close automatically. Let's hop inside the 2020 BMW X5 M competition because it is absolutely beautiful in here. I love what BMW has been doing with their interiors in terms of design and quality and the X5 M competition here does not disappoint at all. Everything in here is of top-notch quality. You have a full merino leather upholstery along with a leather dashboard. That's amazing. And you also have a standard Alcantara headliner, which feels and looks great. And then you have these amazing 18-way power M multifunction seats, which look really amazing. And they definitely hold you in place while you're driving the X5 M competition a little too aggressively. By the way, this interior color combo is called ivory white with night blue. And it's definitely one of my favorite interior color combos in the M lineup. Now, there are a couple of cool things that I wanted to point out about the interior. Most luxury SUVs will give you three zone climate control. Two for the front for the driver and the passenger, and then everybody in the back has to share one zone. The BMW X5 M competition here comes standard with four zone climate control, which means every passenger gets to enjoy their own climate setting. Other than that, you have a wireless charger hidden here behind the cup holders. You have a panoramic sunroof, which is standard, and it goes all the way back, and a bunch of cool camera angles that we've all grown to love and appreciate from BMW. Now, when it comes to the tech, you have the latest iDrive 7.0 operating system as standard here in the X5M competition, along with the BMW Intelligent Personal Assistant. Now, if you want a deeper dive into the infotainment along with the gauge cluster, just check out my ME competition review. They're both very similar. You can also check out my M340i review where I go into deeper detail on both the gauge cluster and the infotainment system. I've added the link to both reviews in the description below. Now quickly, before we move on, let's hop into the second row and see what kind of legroom you have. You have 37.4 inches of rear legroom. 
I'm about six foot tall. That's my seating position. As you can see, I still have a good amount of leg room, but not that much because these front seats are pretty beefy. My rule is that if you want more leg room, just sit behind the passenger, the front passenger, because they can be squished. Don't bother the driver at all. Now, before I move on and give you my opinion of the 2020 BMW X5 M competition, let me point out a few random things that I love to point out. You have a total of four cup holders, two in the front and two in the back for the rear passengers in the center armrest right here. Pull this down, push this little button, and they fold out. Next up, let's hear the door open and close sound on the X5M competition from the outside and from the inside. Pretty solid. This thing does have quite a rumble when you're idling. Last but not least, let's hear the horn sound of the 2020 BMW X5M competition. Pretty beefy and it has a lot of authority just like I expected. Now that I've given you a tour of the 2020 BMW X5 M competition, let me give you my opinion on what I think about this giant, powerful, heavy beast. Let's get to it. Now I've driven the M5 competition and that thing is blistering fast. It will do zero to 60 in 3.1 seconds, while the X5 M competition here will do it in 3.7. Now all you automotive enthusiasts need to chill out because nobody buying an M5 competition in their right minds will ever have a debate with themselves that they should go for the X5M competition instead. That being said, this thing is every bit of fun than any other M Coupe or M Sedan. Honestly, this feels more extreme than the M8 competition that I recently drove a few weeks ago. It is simply amazing how that 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 pushes this giant 5,400 plus pound beast. Now keep in mind that this isn't the smooth everyday X5, not at all. This thing is really rough. Even in comfort mode, the suspension is very, very firm, just like an M car should be. So if you're looking for a powerful SUV that's also a comfortable daily driver, look elsewhere because the X5M competition here is definitely ready to compete. Also, if you are considering the X5M or X5M competition, you might want to save yourself a couple of thousands of dollars and go for the X5M which starts at around $105,000. The X5M competition here starts over $114,000 and there's not much difference in terms of performance. My top picks in this segment include the Audi RSQ8, the BMW X5 M Competition, the Mercedes AMG GLE 63S, and the Porsche Cayenne Turbo. If I had to pick one, it would be the X5 M Competition. It's just really nice, a great overall performance package. Either way, thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you next week. Make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Omar Drives. And if you're enjoying my content, share it with your friends. I'll see you next week. Take care. Peace.